Brad is not here at the wet show in Indianapolis, and I am in the Trelleborg booth with Tim Sparrow. You guys just shot this liner down this one. What was this demonstration? You know, in buildings, you have some pretty substantial challenges with lots of bends, really small diameters. Uh, what we did here was uh, our multi-flex liner. It was able to negotiate these bends uh, with very low pressures. Yep. We've got that footage. We're going to let everybody check it out right now. Thanks a lot, Tim. Awesome. Thank you. So you have here Mike and John. Mike and John are, are, are trainers. Uh, they've been in the industry uh, for many years. They've installed thousands of these liners uh, for contractors as well. We have several liners depending on your application, but the liner we're talking about today is the multi-flex liner. It's very thin, so it's easy to get around a small diameter pipe. Now, today we're gonna be doing uh, ambient cure. We have other options if you want to, uh, you know, potentially speed up that cure. You'll see that our resin is a uh, really deep purple color. We can see exactly, are there any, any weak spots in that liner? If so, we can obviously go back and put them back to the roller. We've cut a little slit at the back of the, uh, of the liner there, and we have a vacuum attached to it. Uh, what that's doing is it's sucking out all of the air, all the empty air in your liner, and really it's only giving space for the resin to, uh, to saturate it. Without this, and you're not gonna have that design life that's gonna last you 50 years. So you have that roller there that is set to the correct height based on the liner diameter and application that you're using. So you'll see we're using an inversion drum up here because you have consistent pressure and you have full control of that liner. If you're doing a lot of building renovation and you have smaller shots, a lot of people will use a mini drum such as what we have here. What you're getting with this type of installation is a fully structural repair versus an epoxy coating, which if, you're, if your pipe is in good condition, there's structural integrity, it's a great system. But if you don't, this is the way you want to go because you're going to get that full structural repair. Now because this liner is uh, really thin and easy to move, you'll see inversion pressure doesn't have to be that high here. John probably will not increase the more than seven PSI to get this liner. Now you'll see here he's gonna get to that corner and it'll jump a little bit, but he has control there and he can move it through, no problem. Oh, that was, that was an easy one. I am with Chris Ortega in the Trelleborg booth. Trelleborg just did a demonstration oh, in their booth yes. on this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you saw. It was nice and smooth, you know. And it didn't have too much uh, pressure on it. And, Super oh, easy yeah, install. Nothing easy, and which is how we want most of those things to go. Yeah. Normally it's like, yeah, we can get 10 PSI on it max, yeah. gonna, you know, and then sometimes we'll get around a band and it won't go. Yeah. You know, it'll, it just stalls, so you've got to pull back and then put too much pressure on you don't want it to blow the liner but you start putting 20 pounds and you're like okay let's just stop and yeah. redo but no this was very easy very smooth and yeah I was impressed how, how easy it went in awesome so, yeah yeah very good thanks a bunch Chris. yeah absolutely best of luck thank you and this has been great Tim could you tell me where can somebody go find more information on Trelleborg yes yeah, so you can visit us on our website www.trelleborg.com or you can dial us on our 1-800 number all right excellent thank you thank you Brad